coming coming toward the MCQs, we are able to pick these MCQ. Now the Canon A view and the Giant A view. The Canon A view is produced in which condition we already know that it is third degree hard block or we are having a pacemaker and there is premature ventricular contraction now <coughs> a wave is produced due to atrial contraction we already know but against the open wall against the open tricuspid wall when the right atrium contracts some of the blood moves down and some of the blood moves up we already know that but what have but what if the wall is closed if the tricuspid wall was supposed to open and if due to certain condition that is closed if the tricuspid wall is closed and the atria contracts against the closed wall if the atria contracts against the closed wall what happen no blood comes down when no bloods come down to the right ventricle what happened all the amount of blood all blood that was in the right atrium that moves upward and that produce a very huge tall a wave that is called canon a wave Canon A wave. Now, in third degree block, why there is Canon A wave production? Because the atria contract out of proportion towards the ventricle. They, there is no coordination in in a normal cardiac cycle. First, there will be right atrial contraction, then ventricle contraction. Now, if if there is coordination, there will be a tricuspid valve opening then closing. Now, if they are contracting out of proportion, what happens? That the valve is uh, uh, that the valve is closed against the atrial contraction so when the atrial contracts against the closed wall blood moves towards the neck huge amount produce can an a wave when the giant a wave is actually again that a wave but hair resistance is less what happens that you are having some problem in the there the problem was rhythm the canon a wave produced due to the rhythm problem the giant a wave produced due to the resistance problem now there is a concept behind that the rhythm problem means that there is a the the the, the, the tricuspid valve was valve was supposed to open, and now that is uh, that that is not open due to rhythm problem. So the atria contract again the closed. In giant airway, what happens? The rhythm is normal, but what happens? You are having stenosed tricuspid valves. So when you are having stenosed tricuspid valve, when the atria contract against the stenosed tricuspid valve, the amount of blood leaving the right uh, the right atrium into the right ventricle is less. If that is less, what happens? A large proportion of blood moves towards the neck and it produces a, a, a tall wave, but uh, less tall as compared to canon A wave. So that is actually a giant A wave. So the large V wave is produced due to now we already discussed that v wave is produced due to the venous return against the closed wall the a wave is produced due to the atrial contraction against the open wall now that was the that was the concept basically now if uh, the, the v wave is produced due to uh, venous return against the closed tricuspid wall now uh, 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 against the closed tricuspid wall and that produces a distension now what happens if if the, tri the, the tricuspid wall they move like this you are having filling of the right atrium the, the wall is closed so whatever the amount of blood that is coming into the right atrium against the closed tricuspid wall that will produce uh, that will produce an impulse in the jugular vein because there is a huge amount of blood and that will cause a large v wave but what if the wall are also coming towards right atrium if the wall are also coming towards the right atrium if the walls are also coming towards the right atrium so there will be uh, the amount of blood uh, there will be some blood coming from the right ventricle to the right, uh, right atrium so there is a uh, two way one the blood is coming from from the body and another from the right ventricle so that will produce a huge v wave that is tricuspid regurgitation tricuspid regurgitation tricuspid regurgitation to produce a large v wave there is a, another mcq that is <coughs> rapid y descent and rapid x descent occur in rapid mean this is the normal this is the normal x descent and this is the normal y descent rapid mean if it comes like if it is if it becomes like this <coughs> that is rapid if it becomes the y wave be, the y descent become like this so there is another mcq absent a wave absent a wave mean a wave is produced due to the right atrial contraction we already discussed now if the right atrium is not contracting there will be no air wave and the condition in which there is no atrial contraction is atrial fibrillation and atrial fibrillation what is happening the atria is having seizures but it is not contracting so if it is not contracting there will be no air so absent air occur in atrial fibrillation because the atrium is not contracting another mcq that comes is uh, small v wave the small v wave we know that v wave is produced due to venous return the small v wave will be if there is small venous return if there is a small venous return there is a, another mcq this one is produced during 
S2 is produced during S4 and S3. Now the S1 is produced at the end of A wave. This is your A wave. A wave is because of atrial contraction. Now we know that if the atria is contracting again, the stiff ventricle produces S4. So during A wave, which sound is produced? That is S4. After A wave or at the end of A wave, we are having S1. Just before the C wave, because the C wave is a bulging of the wall into the right uh, atrium from the right, right ventricle. So just before the C wave, there is a closure of tricuspid and uh, mitral wall. So that produces S1. At the end of A wave, S1. At the peak of A wave, S4. Now the S2 is produced at V wave. S2 is produced during V wave due to the closure of pulmonic wall and aortic wall. Now the, the, uh, the S3 is produced due to uh, during wide descent because there is rapid filling phase, rapid filling phase and S3 is produced during rapid filling phase. S3 is produced during rapid filling phase. S4 is produced during atrial contraction. S1 is produced after at the, at the end of A wave. S2 is produced during V wave. Now applying that wave form into our cardiac cycle. This is your A wave, atrial contraction. This is your A wave. Then this is your X descent, ISO volumetric contraction, X descent. And this is your C wave. C wave occur when the both walls are closed and the ventricle is contracting, so the bulging of that. And ISO volumetric relaxation, it actually dilates the right the during isovolumetric uh, relaxation what happens the atria is dilating so if the atria is dilating what happens it is uh, accumulating the maximum blood from the jugular system if it is accumulating maximum blood from the jugular system so there is x descent c wave and x descent occur on this way that was isovolumetric contraction a wave at the end of what was that diastole so that was the slow filling phase V wave occur during isovolumetric relaxation. Isovolumetric relaxation. V wave occur during isovolumetric. Y descent. Y descent occur during early diastole period. Y descent occur during early diastole period. So if we know this thing in mind, we will be able to 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 pick the MCQ very easily. We will be able to pick the MCQ very easily. V wave, isovolumetric relaxation. X descent and C wave, isovolumetric contraction. A wave late diastole, A wave late diastole, Y descent early diastole, Y descent early diastole. So there is uh, another MCQ, the rapid Y descent. Now this this is this was the normal Y descent during diastolic period. And in diastolic period, we know that the ventricle relaxes. Now for the normal Y descent, the ventricle volume must be normal and the ventricle diastole must be normal. Ventricle relaxation must be normal. Now, if there is anything that causes a uh, problem in the ventricular relaxation, that will cause rapid uh, rapid Y descent. That will cause, re this is rapid Y descent. Normal Y descent and rapid Y descent. Now, if the right ventricle is not dilating when it was supposed to dilate, so it is mm, uh, filled maximally with blood in a short amount of period. When it uh, filled maximally with a sh short amount of period, that causes rapid Y descent. Now the rapid X descent or the absent uh, X descent occur in cardiac tamponade. In the cardiac tamponade. In the cardiac tamponade. And there is another MCQ that is uh, uh, maximum aortic pressure occur during that is slow ejection phase. This is your rapid ejection phase and this is slow ejection phase. So the maximum aortic pressure occur over here. That is the slow ejection phase. That is not rapid ejection phase. Absent X descent occur in the cardiac tamponade. Rapid Y descent occur in the constructive pericarditis and restrictive cardiomyopathy. Constructive pericarditis because the the heart is not uh, the ventricle is not relaxing when it was supposed to relax. Now the concept uh, of rapid X descent. Uh, in the cardiac tamponade is that when there is cardiac tamponade so it squeezes both the right ventricle and the right atrium it squeezes both the right uh, ventricle and the right atrium when the right atrium is squeezed the X descent we know that there is isovolumetric relaxation so whenever there is isovolumetric relaxation there is atrial relaxation too so when the atria relaxes let's suppose this is your right atria and it has blood same amount of blood and this is another atria same amount of blood so if the volume of this right atria is more as compared to volume of this so the pressure here will be less pressure here will be less if the pressure here is less there will be descent 
normal descent normal x descent now what happens when, when, whenever there is a cardiac tamponade so it squeezes both the ventricle and the atrium the atrium cannot dilate when the atrium cannot dilate so the blood the blood that is present to our hair the x descent is uh, actually mainly the atrial relaxation if the atria is not relaxing what happened the uh, it, it affects uh, it, it fills maximally with blood in a short amount of period so that produces rapid x descent so i hope i covered all the <coughs> concepts uh, behind these mcqs uh, if there is any question or if you want to give any suggestion uh, you are free thank you so 